Here we have the Pinhold SF6 Leak Repair Kit. We have an instruction manual, some mixing cups and popsicle sticks, a preset torque wrench, some latex gloves, some waste bags, the pinhole disc and bolt, the epoxy, and some alcohol prep pads and sandpaper. So the first thing we need to do is prep the surface. So what we do is we take our 80 grit sandpaper and sand down all the paint and dust and grime that might have built up on the outside of the tank and do about a two inch circle around the pinhole uh, where the actual pinhole is leaking. And we're gonna go ahead and clean that up after we get it sanded down and get it prepped for the epoxy. Now we can go ahead and glove up so that we don't get any epoxy on our skin. So here we're going to take our epoxy canister and spray out just enough epoxy at the bottom of there, about a quarter inch high of epoxy, enough to get the bottom of that pinhole disc covered. Go ahead and put our cap back on. And then we're going to mix this up for about a minute to a minute and a half, depending on the temperature or where you're at, until you get a nice consistent color and it's ready to go. Now we're going to take our popsicle stick and smear that epoxy onto our base of our pinhole disc, kind of like you're spreading cream cheese onto a bagel, using a, a decent amount to get a nice thick coating on the base so that you can smush it in and there's no gaps. Avoid having any epoxy cover the bottom hole as we want the leak to still escape up through the top of that chimney. Once you have that nice and coated, we'll go ahead and smush that onto our leak and try to center up as best you can the leak with the middle of the part. That way it can still off gas and there's no leaks being created in between the epoxy and the part. It all leaks up through the hole, the threaded hole where the bolt will be sealed. Depending on the orientation of the surface that you're working with, you may need to hold the pin hold down onto the surface for about 10 to 15 seconds for it to get a nice hold. It's a pretty tacky substance, so it should hold pretty well. And then we'll go ahead and take the extra epoxy and run it along the outer edges of the part, try to smooth it out as best we can to make it look nice and sealed up. After about 15 minutes of letting that epoxy dry, we'll go ahead and hand tighten our bolt onto the pinhole base and take our preloaded torque wrench, which is set to eight Newton meters, and you'll feel a nice pop once that torque setting is reached. Now your leak is sealed and you can dispose of all the trash and you're good to go.